Good morning, everyone. How are y'all today? Welcome to Coastal Bay College. My name is Kevin Barron, the Chief of Police here. A few things I'd like to go over with you, just in case. Okay? Um, we have uh, three ways to get out of here. The first one is through the way that you came in, which is the double doors that are right in front. If you need to evacuate, that's going to be one of the main areas that we would evacuate to. We also have an exit to the to your to your left through the doorway, and then take a left. You'll see the exit. Finally, we have an exit here, uh, which is also a double door exit. You would go through where uh, the, the uh, our wonderful band is right there through those doorways, and then exit that way. Uh, please pay attention. Should in a any type of an evacuation. Uh, it becomes necessary. Uh, a couple other things. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have crowding problems. However, I do ask that you not save seats. This is a first come, first serve. Uh, you guys got here plenty of time. Uh, a little bit chilly out there today, so we opened up the doors as fast as we could. Uh, other than that, the bathrooms are straight behind me. So if you need to use the facilities, uh, you'll find them in this doorway uh, foyer out here. Uh, I'm very proud for you. Uh, this, is good. this is a wonderful day for both you and your graduates. And I hope it's a memorable day for all, everyone. God bless and have a good day.
Thank you.
Good morning, everyone. You may be seated. What a wonderful morning for a graduation. Welcome to the 2019 Fall Commencement Ceremony at Coastal Bend College. It's wonderful to see a packed house today celebrating our students' success. Before we, before we begin, I would like to remind everyone uh, that there are three exits over here and over here. Um, I would also like to ask everyone to please silence your cell phone, but while you are doing so, please feel free to text a friend or a loved one um, the following link, www.coastalbend.edu slash live as we are uh, live streaming this event for those who could not be here today. Um, and before we get officially underway, we do have one order of business to take. Graduates, please smile. <laughs> Can we pull it in a little bit? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. It is an immense honor to have you all here today. Graduates, family members, friends, faculty, and staff, we, we come together today to celebrate the accomplishments of the fall 2019 class. This graduating class has earned over 300 degrees, certificates, and occupational skill achievement awards. Let's give them a round of applause and congratulations. The late William Arthur Ward, an American poet, stated, if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. Graduates, as you embark on the next chapter of your education and you start your careers, keep these words in mind. You are the next generation of medical professionals, lawyers, teachers, law enforcement officials, business owners, engineers, and many other occupations that lead to a strong, vibrant, educated workforce. Always work hard, but never give up, never stop dreaming. Now I'd like to introduce uh, the people who have joined me on the stage for today's commencement ceremony. We have Mr. Victor Gomez, the board secretary. <laughs> Mr. Carolosi, board chair. <laughs> Mr. Jeff Massengill, trustee. <laughs> Mr. Trace Morrill. Board Vice Chair, and Mrs. Martha Warner, Trustee. I'm also joined on stage by the following CBC administration. Dr. Carrie Diatley, Vice President of Instruction and Economic Development. Mr. Mark Secord, Dean of Academics and Interim Dean of Workforce Programs. And I'm very proud to introduce to you our newly minted PhD, Dr. Zachary Suarez, Dean of Enrollment Services to the Church and Interim Executive Dean. If everyone would please rise, gentlemen, remove your covers. Um, Reverend Battle will lead us in the invocation and singing of the national anthem, followed by Dr. Suarez in the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a wonderful day to be here because God has allowed us to see and breathe. So everybody relax. Let us pray. Good morning, God. We come again to celebrate the magnificence of education. We come again, God, knowing that it is because of your love and your direction that we are here today. So we invite you into everything we're going to say and do and God, thank you for the opportunity to just fellowship one with another. God, many that have come today will not be in the face of the person that's sitting next to them in, the next, in this moment. But because we are here now, 
we ask for your blessing and we turn everything over to you. And I humbly ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 I always apologize when I have to sing the national anthem because I have a raspy voice. But when people ask me to do it, I have to do it the only way I know how. It's with whatever God has given me. All right? Are y'all ready? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last streaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in the air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet waved o'er oh, the land and of the free and the home of the brave Please join me for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, CD. For about 20 years, I've worked at a community college, and I think it's the best job a person can have because of this. We get to impact people's lives. You all get to go out into the community and you achieve your dreams. It's a wonderful thing, and this is proof. But no one person does it by themselves. And as a college and as an institution, we are one team across our service area. So I'd like to take just one moment and ask the faculty and staff to please stand up and be recognized for their work in, in getting you all here. Thank you. At this time, um, we'd like to call Mr. Carol Osi, the CBC board chair, to the podium for a few remarks. Good morning. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Coastal Bend College, I want to welcome all of you, and I want to congratulate, congratulate all the graduates. We know you have choices in your education, and we want to thank you for choosing Coastal Bend College. It is really a pleasure to share in the intensity of emotions today as you who are graduating close this chapter in your life story. For some of you, this may be the end of formal instruction, but it is definitely not the end of your education. Education continues until the end of life. I am sure that even though we recognize 
the faculty and staff that you as well as us as the, on the board of directors would like to thank the instructors and staff who have helped get you to this point. As you begin to open new chapters in your life story, I want to challenge you to always continue learning and to make education a never-ending part of your life story. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Losey. It's my honor to introduce at this time our keynote speaker, Kelly McNeese Hensley. Kelly McNeese Hensley was born in Three Rivers and graduated from Three Rivers High School in 1980. Ms. McNeese Hensley attended Bee County College in 1980 and 81, where she made the Dean's List. She moved to Beeville in February 1982 and enrolled at Coastal Bend College from 1988 to 1989, studying in cosmetology. While studying, she was elected the cosmetology class president and she made the Dean's List again. In 1993, she received her cosmetology instructor's license and was current until 2007. Ms. McNeese Hensley worked, uh, her work history with Edward Jones began in January 1998. She was still working half a day as a beautician when she decided to make the transition from self-employment to working full-time for Edward Jones. She completed the six-month training and decided to make the change from taking care of someone's beauty to helping them take care of their money. Seven years later, she became financial advisor in October 2005 after passing her licensing exam. After many honors and awards for her commitment to excellence, Ms. McNeese Hensley and with her office manager, they've helped over 500 families in our surrounding area educate their children, prepare for a more comfortable retirement, and made sure their legacy would continue uh, for the next generations. In her spare time, she enjoys spending time on the ranch in Toledo with her husband, John, her seven grandchildren, her four children, and their spouses. She enjoys singing, cooking, and taking care of their home and, and the garden when she's not taking care of her clients. Graduates and guests, Ms. Kelly McNeese Hensley. Thank you all for such a warm welcome. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. I want to thank Madeline Madden, your president of the CDC Foundation, for inviting me. And for uh, Medibel Avella for uh, helping me and being Madeline's assistant and the graduation committee as well. And to your CBC Foundation board and president, and thank you to your college president, Dr. Justin Hoggard, and the college board of trustees and their president. And of course, I must thank the faculty and you graduates for such a great job. Congratulations, you did it, you did it. Well, I am Kelly McNeese Hensley. I'm a 16 year veteran with Edward Jones here in Beeville as a financial advisor. And in January, I'll have 22 years with Edward Jones. But I have sat in the same seats that you have. And I think the college is even better today. <coughs> I've lived in Beeville for 37 years, and um, my children's father and I first lived at 907 West Sylvia Street. I walked to work at the pizza and sandwich shop on the south side, and I realized that that really wasn't my future. I then went to work at the original Wicker Basket on North Washington Street, owned by Mary Ellen Wicker and her mother. I was there seven and a half years before I made the decision I had to earn more money. That's when I came back to then B County College for cosmetology and got my instructors as well. I worked for 10 years in the beauty industry until I really realized I needed to make more money and have more benefits because I was a single mom. I told Bill Stockton with Edward Jones downtown, who's now retiring, back in 1998, I'll give you two years to see if my income can meet what I was making in the beauty shop. I fell in love with helping people take care of their money, and I never looked back. And it's a labor of love in which all the college serves you as students and now as graduates. Love is the foundation of humanity. God showed his love for us ultimately with the death of his son on the cross. His love is so deep 
He wants us to delight in every day and be the most successful that we can be so we can honor Him and to love others. I think of the 12 days of Christmas. It's not the most loved Christmas carol. That partridge in a pear tree, it gets kind of old after four or five verses. But it is an important time of year. Gift giving is a big part of that. The 12 days of Christmas mark the span between the birth of Christ and the coming of the Magi, the three wise men bearing gifts to Jesus by January the 6th. The giving of gifts for those 12 days, my true love gave to me, can be represented in many ways. Your faculty here today, the stage is full. Your family and your significant others are definitely your true loves. The difference, they give all year long, not just the 12 days of Christmas. My first gift to you as your speaker is number one. Remember to say thank you. None of us got here alone. Someone loved us enough to encourage, support, pray for, and hold us accountable for us to be where we are today. Search those people out and tell them thank you. What gifts of wisdom can they give you for your future? Ask them and be grateful. Then, care more than most people, more than what they would expect. Number two, my second gift, keep learning as a lifelong attitude, not just something that you've acquired. <laughs> Education, like love, is a foundation for something more. Show and teach your children and grandchildren that reading and learning something new increases your joy and gives you a jump start for success. Number three, so important, be persistent. Success does not happen overnight. It does start immediately with a decision to be successful. Then fake it till you make it. Be confident and others will be drawn to you. I must tell you about my grandmother, Sue Doby. When she passed away in 1992, she was able to leave 15 heirs, $15,000 each. When I asked how was she able to do that, she had so many things happen in her life. She owned stocks and bonds. I decided then, if my grandmother could do it, so could I. So it was then that I started my research and began a now 26-year passion and process of investing. Develop a plan that fits your budget. Even if it's only $20 a paycheck, invest it for your family's future and for your financial success. Thomas Edison held 1,093 patents, the most of any individual in U.S. history. He had an incredible passion and curiosity and eagerness to learn. His famous statement, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. It's no joke. If one approach failed, he would try another and another up to 50,000 times until he succeeded. Use failure as a learning experience along your road to success. Gift number four, take time to think about your destiny. What is it you were born to do? Why are you here? What's your biggest plan for the future? Is it to have your family name on one of the buildings here on campus? Or your name or company on a skyscraper. I sure didn't know when I was in your shoes 38 years ago. And that's okay. Let your thoughts take the lead. Take time to think. Number five, write it down. It is amazing the power of writing your goals. Make a list, check it regularly, maybe monthly. Resolve not to repeat your errors. Gift number six, give your goal a timeline. What do you want to achieve daily, even hourly? My day is really broken up into minutes. What can I achieve in three to five minutes? I'm my own boss and I want to achieve at a high level. And ultimately, I'll be compensated for such. As an employee, if you can adopt a goal, give it a timeline, 
and share it with your boss, it will work for you too. That leads me to gift number seven. When you share your goal with someone who's important to you, and they can help hold you accountable for doing what you say you'll do in the timeline that you've decided, you've boosted your success rate threefold. You could even reach out to a coworker and have a competition to increase everyone's performance and level of success. On to gift number eight. So important. Celebrate your successes. For us baby boomers, it's a little more difficult because our generation was just supposed to succeed. We were raised that way. But even a high five with someone can work. Um, and I think younger generations, y'all are better at taking the time to celebrate. But if you're by yourself, what I do, I give myself a physical pat on the back. Way to go, Kelly. Good job. I got this. So why is that emotional and physical response important? It reinforces our brains that I am worth what I'm being paid. I can do a great job. I feel good performing at a high level. I'll continue this behavior of setting goals with a timeline and sharing it with someone so I can celebrate again and have that great feeling. Number nine. Measure your results on your level, what you can handle realistically. Evaluate your results. Was it beneficial to everyone? That which you focus on expands. If you're excited and passionate about what you do, it's not work. Make it more positive. Your goal should fit into your schedule easily to be successful. You have a lifetime to be a successful investor with a plan that fits easily in your schedule to add to your success on an automatic basis. You focus on what you can control when bad times come to stay invested in your lifelong plan and add to that goal with annual increases. I'm here as a financial advisor, a financial doctor, a life coach for financial success to hold your hand in the bad times and celebrate you during the good times. Cheer you on. Take action. Make firm decisions and your life will shape up. Knowing something doesn't change your life. Doing something does. Gift number 10, we're getting close. Organize tomorrow, today. My husband is a master at this. Every day before he leaves his business, he's written down what's most important to accomplish tomorrow. Try being a slave to those good habits. For this one to stick, you may need to set an alert on your phone or something like that. Use a pen and paper though, write it down. Your brain and your consciousness will continue to work on your list even when you're sleeping. There's a 900% chance of success if you write it down and keep that list where you'll see it first thing in the morning. Try not to do what I've done. Quit doing these great things that have worked so well. Uh, you just quit doing them. I have mastered the habit of do it now. Don't wait to procrastinate. Do it now. Let that be your new mantra. Number 11 is actually a question first. Have you ever recognized something that you need to do, but you wrestled with yourself about really doing it? For example, I love chocolate chip cookies. And it really angers me that sugar and butter stay on my hips. So if I feel that I want a second cookie, I go through a fight through. Can I fight through my temptation and say no for obvious reasons? I've had a win and I celebrate accordingly. My brain gets stronger on the next one and to say no on the next one. We're human, there's going to be another fight through. So how do I feel if I don't win? Let that sink in and really make you feel bad. That's the power of your brain working. How would you feel if you continued that same behavior for five more years? So whatever fits, from cookies to taking out the trash to 
not asking for a raise. Make yourself have a win. Make sure your brain stronger. And last but not least, the partridge in the pear tree. Gift number 12. Don't look back. My mantra, the past does not equal the future. If your life has had negativity, keep this as your mantra. The past does not equal the future. Focus on your future, what you can control. Remember what you focus on expands, so make it positive. Try to forget about bad decisions. Today is a new day. Clearly identify your benefits as you summarize your accomplishments when someone asks, what do you bring to the workplace? I hope you've enjoyed my 12 gifts to you. I hope you take them to heart. Remember your foundation, your true love, is first the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Utilize them to help you accomplish anything. In Him, all things are possible. Thank Him with 10% of your income to help others, and your joy and accomplishments will grow in return. Your second true love is your family and your community that want to see you succeed. If they don't, move on quickly. Don't look back. You deserve to be treated with love and respect. Let today be just the beginning of a foundation of learning and exploring for something more to come. Plan your life to be a labor of love. And success will definitely follow. You can follow me on Facebook and on LinkedIn. And if you'd like a copy of my notes, I can definitely make those available to you. Congratulations and God bless. Do great things. going to have to remember that fight through the chocolate chip cookies here at Christmas. <laughs> Thank you for those inspirational words and great advice. At this time, I would like to call Dr. D. Atley, who is our Vice President of Instruction and Economic Development, but she also serves as in her function as the Chief Academic Officer. As the students were coming in today, you recognize that we're wearing many stoles and colored ribbons. Um, they have academic meaning. Dr. Diabli is going to explain those to you and confer upon you your degree. Students wearing red, white, and blue stoles are veterans of the United States Armed Forces Division. Coastal Bend College wants to offer a special recognition to show the college's respect, appreciation, and gratitude for our veteran students' service to our country. Will all veterans graduated please rise? <laughs> Students wearing gold stoles and tassels are members of the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society, which recognizes academic excellence. Will all the Phi Theta Kappa members please stand to be recognized?
I confer upon each of these graduates the respective certificate and degree for which you have been recommended upon successful completion of all requirements, and I offer my sincere congratulations. It is now time for the graduates to take the stage for the presentation of certificates and degrees. Graduates, you may be seated. And now for the presentation of degrees and certificates. John Daniel Sullivan, Level 1 Certificate, Automotive Technology, Certificate Fundamentals of Automotive Technology, Level 1 Certificate, Automotive Technology, and Occupational Skills Award, Automotive Technology, also Associate of Applied Science in Automotive Technology. Michelle Elliott, Associate of Applied Science, Business Technology, Administrative Assistant, highest honor, PTK, Level 1 Certificate, Fundamentals of Accounting. <laughs> Bryce J. Mallow, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Technology, Level 2 Certificate, Computer Information Technology, Level 1 Certificate, Fundamentals of Computer Information Technology, and Level 1 Certificate, Computer Information Technology, Skills Award, Computer Information Technology. <laughs> Kim Rising, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Technology, Web Page Design, also Level 1 Certificate, Computer Information Technology, Web Page Design, Certificate, Computer Information Technology, Fundamentals of Web Page Design, and Occupational Skills Award in CIT Web Page Design. Martha A. Hernandez, Associate of Applied Science in Cosmetology. <laughs> Carla Cristina Camarillo, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Desiree Cantu, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. <laughs> Haley Nicole Cooper, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. <laughs> Gabrielle Escamilla Esquivel, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Garcia, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Juan Jose Huerta, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Alyssa Nicole Lara, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Erica Nicole Lugo, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Cynthia Rose Medrano, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Julie Moses, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology.
Bianca Marivel Rocha, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Caitlin Rosas, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Paula Grace Talamantes, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Shania Zapata, Level 1 Certificate, Cosmetology. Roberto Carlos Esparza, Associates of Applied Science, Law Enforcement, Level 1 Certificate, Fundamentals of Law Enforcement. Christian Joseph Lambert, Associate of Applied Science, Law Enforcement, Level 1 certi Certificate, Fundamentals of Law Enforcement. Jacob Matthew Rivera, Associate of Applied Science, Law Enforcement, Level 1 Certificate, Law Enforcement, Level 1 Certificate, Fundamentals of Law Enforcement, Fundamentals of Forensics, Theory, Level 1 Certificate, Forensics, Occupational Skills Award, Law Enforcement, Cassie Alegria, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Brooke Christine Bear, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing, with honors. Andrea Marie Chapa, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Valerie Irene Fox, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, highest honors. <laughs> Lucas Dalou, Associate of Applied Science Nursing. <laughs> Marivel Reina Gonzalez. Associate of Applied Science Nursing, with honors. <laughs> Marisa Gonzalez, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, PTK. <laughs> Sean Harris, Associate of Applied Science Nursing. Veronica Hinojosa, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Sabrina Larasquitu, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing, PTK. Felicia Marie Martinez, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Perez, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Ramirez, Associate of Applied Science, Sandra Hilburn Riley, Associate of Applied Science Nursing. <laughs> Leanna Rivera, Associate of Applied Science Nursing. Isela Sanchez, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Yeah. Kristen Ray.
Kelly Staley, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Yolanda Irene Theis, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Yolanda! Monette Vecchio, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Crystal Rose Ivana, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Diana Luna Avead, Level 1 Certificate Vocational Nursing, PTK. <laughs> Melissa Hall, Level 1 Certificate Vocational Nursing. Rebecca Hernandez, Level 1 Certificate, Vocational Nursing. <laughs> Alejandra Maria Lopez, Level 1 Certificate, Vocational Nursing. <laughs> Valerie Medrano, Level 1 Certificate, Vocational Nursing, PTK. <laughs> Ruby Ann Perez, Level 1 Certificate, Vocational Nursing, PTK. <laughs> Nicole Janice Rhodes, Level 1 Certificate, Vocational Nursing. Juliana Marie Cifuentes, Level 1 Certificate, Vocational Nursing, PTK. <laughs> Elizabeth A. Thompson, Level 1 Certificate, Vocational Nursing, PTK. Janessa H.M. Jimenez, Level 1 Certificate, Vocational Nursing, PTK. Juana M. Suarez Yanez, Level 1 Certificate, Vocational Nursing, PTK. Matthew A. Cuellar. Level 1 Certificate, Oil and Gas Technology. Level 1 Certificate, Fundamentals of Oil and Gas Technology. Yeah. Occupational Skills Award, Oil and Gas Technology. Yeah. Jesus Garcia, Jr. Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology, Honors. Level 2 Certificate, Welding Technology. Level 1 Certificate, Welding Technology. Level 1 Certificate, Fundamentals of Gas Metal Arc Welding. Level 1, Fundamentals of Gas Tungsten Metal Arc Welding. Fundamentals of Shielded Metal Arc Welding. Fundamentals of Flux Core Metal Arc Welding. Occupational Skills Award, Gas Metal Arc Welding. Gas Tungsten Metal Arc Welding, Shielded Metal Arc Welding, and Flux Core Metal Arc Welding. Jacob Omar Naranjo, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology with Honors. <laughs> Anthony Juan Vallejo, Associate of Applied Science, Welding Technology, High Honors. Level 2 Certificate, Welding Technology. Level 1 Certificate, Welding Technology. Level 1 Certificate, Fundamentals of Gas, Metal Arc Welding, Fundamentals of Gas.
gas, tungsten metal arc welding, fundamentals of shielded metal arc welding, fundamentals of flux core metal arc welding, fundamentals and occupational skills award, gas metal arc welding, gas tungsten metal arc welding, shielded arc welding, flux core metal arc welding. Anna Patricia Viego, Associate of Arts, High Honors with BTK. <laughs> Priscilla Ann Estrada, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Crisanta I. Zambrano, Associate of Arts. Moriella Marisol Villarreal, Associate of Arts in Criminal Justice, BTK, with honors. Erasmo Trejo Aguilar, Associate of Science. Giselle Lizette. Campos, Associate of Science with Honors. <laughs> Brittany Marie Colunga, Associate of Science. <laughs> Cecilia Inez Diego, Associate of Science. Carlos Abador Elizondo, Associate of Science. <laughs> Jessica Lucinda Espinosa, Associate of Science, PTK. Edgar Arthur Gagnon, Jr., Associate of Science. <laughs> Mia Celeste Galindo, Associate of Science. Denise Lynette Garcia, Associate of Science, Honors PTK. <laughs> Alexis Herrera, Associate of Science, with Honors. Maribel Yvette Martinez Lugo, Associate of Science with Honors. Brianna Amber Moreno, Associate of Science. Mary G. Moreno, Associate of Science, Honors, and PTK. <laughs> Christina Nathaniel, Associate of Science, with Honors. <laughs> Vanessa Raven Dramides. Associate of Science, Honors, and BTK. <laughs> Martina Maria Ramos, Associate of Science. <laughs> Mireya Ranel, Associate of Science, Highest Honors.
Jennifer C. Rochester, Associate of Science, Highest Honors. Simon Romero, Associate of Science. <laughs> Troy William Taylor, Associate of Science. <laughs> Victoria Gonzalez. Associate of Science, Highest Honors, PTK. As we approach final portion of today's commencement ceremony. I'd like to remind all guests to remain, uh, please remain seated until the CBC faculty, staff, and graduates exit the building. We want the graduates to have their moment. We want them to shine. I would also like to thank the college staff that planned and executed the commencement ceremonies today and express my appreciation to all of the loved ones in attendance. Your presence means a great deal to your graduate. We invite all our graduates and their guests to a dessert reception sponsored by the CBC alumni and friends. Um, the reception will take place outside immediately after the recession. There is a CBC backdrop set up for family and friends to take photos. Please share the photos with us using the CBC Fall Grad 19 hashtag on social media. And now, graduates, please rise. <laughs> It is time to move your castle from the right side to the left side. If you ever forget which side your castle goes on, simply remember that you wear it on the left side over your heart to remind you of your beloved alma mater, Coastal Bend College. Graduates, please face the audience. And in turn, graduates, you know you didn't get here by yourself. Give the love back to your family and friends. Okay, graduates, you may be seated. Let me be the first to congratulate you and wish you a successful, prosperous, and meaningful future. I think today is a new beginning for each and every one of you. And always remember the Coastal Bay College is here for you. You're now officially part of the alumni of CBC, part of a tight-knit family and network that will support your endeavors every step of the way. Congratulations, Fall Class of 2019. Please rise for the benediction. Thank you for allowing us this opportunity again. And we pray for your blessing to be upon each of these graduates and their family. We pray, God, that they go forth and do good, that they will find the jobs of the need and pass the necessary tests. And God, we recognize that they could never have made it without your guidance. And so we pray for the blessings upon them. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit, we ask it all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.
Our marketing and public relations team will be taking stage photos of each graduate and will be available for download for free on Facebook page within a couple days. Details are on the inside back of your cover of your program. I ask the audience to please remain seated until the graduates exit the building and please join us for pictures and refreshments in the courtyard.